Hi there everybody, this is Farmer Bob and welcome to my channel. Um, yes, uh, welcome to another map review. Uh, I saw this one on um, ModHub and it looked very interesting. So yes, <laughs> it's the first time I'm going to open it. Well, I'm actually not telling the truth. It's the second time I'm going to open it. I've just opened it to see if the map is working. <laughs> but I haven't looked around yet or seen anything um, in the map, but it really looks very interesting. Uh, the map's name is Yukon River Valley, and uh, um, yeah, what a nice uh, looking map, my type of map. I love the country and the outdoors, so yes, definitely um, I, I think this map has got big potential if everything that uh, is in the description is really as, they say, as the, the, the creators say it is. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump in and have a look at the map. Um, once again, thanks for joining and watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It really helps me out. And also, uh, if you like the video, give a like. And yes, thanks so much for joining. Let's have a look then. Good stuff. So here we are. We start uh, start the map somewhere here. Let me have a look. Oh, it's quite nice. I like the environment. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Lots of trees and hills and mountains obviously I've never been to the Yukon but as far as I know it's like really in the wild you know <laughs> nice uh, river passing by and waterfall there in the back yeah I really like I really like this it's nice yeah must have been a big job to put all these rocks there <laughs> anyway yeah you know, guys I'll make my own map so I know I know how much work it is to make a map Anyways, guys, without further ado, let's just get our flight tools in order so we can fly around a bit and um, and obviously have all the all the stuff handy. Right. So this is a 16 times map, guys. So it is a humongous big map. Um, so yeah, you're gonna have plenty of time running around and um, working on this map to. To actually get everything done on it oh my word what's flying up there there's something in the air there let's go and have a look something is up here in the air oh, what is that looks like a, it's a mine okay it's part of a mine or something oh shame okay uh, I suppose that's supposed to be have to be in the ground somewhere but yeah, it's a version one of the maps, so you can expect small little tiny things to, to be out of place and not, not working as it should. So uh, bear in mind, yeah, it's version one and uh, really a really good job so far. I must say I really like the environment. Although well, that hovering, hovering mine up there, <laughs> it's a mine in the sky, <laughs> some sky mining. Okay, let's have a quick look at the PDA guys, at the map itself gonna zoom out it's such a big map so yeah um, by the looks of it here in the south um, there's some fields and then on the west side there's also some fields and then maybe one or two here by by those um, animal husbandries the shop was shop is like here in the center of the map which is nice obviously it's not too far from your house which is there so you've got the house there deep in the wilderness um, and then obviously some places I think I think the, let's quickly just have a look at what the, the creator said of the map here we go this is at mod um, you can make a note of that download link although I will put it in the comments on this video so you can have a look there he says it's a 16 times map that is designed to keep you busy for a long time there are three farms on the map but in order to expand your farm, you must remove trees to plow in your new fields. Okay, awesome. Uh, I think that T-Rex is the right thing to get rid of the trees. If you haven't had the T-Rex yet, buy the T-Rex or download the T-Rex. <laughs> it makes short work of trees and stumps all in one go. Um, along with the forestry on the map, there is mining as well. You will have the ability to run dirt through a wash plant for gold and also through a dirt processing plant for sand, gravel, stone and ore. The use of these materials then can be made into cement, concrete and steel. Awesome! There's also a coal mine on the map with a tunnel running through a mountain. Uh, but I think your tunnel is in the air. But anyway, 
Once the coal is cleared, it will serve as a small shortcut. This will, map will need a placeable mod in your file, the wada wada wada, and that's all part of the download. There's a lot of um, other components in the download, so you just open it, unzip it into your mods folder, and voila, there you are. Okay, so that is a, oh, let me just quickly have a look if, if there's a name here. Oh, it is uploaded by guest, so I've got no idea who made the map, guys. Sorry, man. Um, and there's no credits here, nothing. Hope you all enjoy. So guest uploaded it 16 hours ago. Uh, thanks, guest, for a very, very nice map. We, uh, well, we haven't really had a good look at it yet. Anyway, one lead down, no multi-fruit, only the basic fruits. Um, but I suppose the scenery and um, the niceness of the map uh, makes up for the, for the missing fruits. Although... Once again, bear in mind, it is only version 1. All right, so let's have a quick look here on the north uh, east. That's a train mining silo, a dirt processing plant, and a sawmill. Okay, excellent. And here on the northwest, we have a sawmill, another sawmill, um, a train north sales. That looks like one of the saw points. A steel processor, a train mining silo, and also a dirt processing plant. Um, by the looks of it, there must be a rail, a railway on this, but we'll have a look now when we fly over the whole map. And then here in the in the west side, we have a farm silo and one train silo. So it looks like that's one of the farms. I would put uh, money on that. Uh, gold processor and dirt wash plant. Obviously, this is your mining facility for the gold by the looks of it. Pallet sales, log sales, um, and this is this another sawmill. And then at the bottom here on the south side, you have some animal husbandries, the sheep, the chickens, and uh, horses, pigs, whatever. And seven fields uh, that's lying there. And on the southeast, there's nothing. And in the center, you have your shop, your animal dealer, and also uh, log sales, log sales, and what? Chip sales. All right, so there is some sell points. Um, of which only two of the cell points is showing here. I uh, didn't really see any others, but yeah. So you at least have two cell points on the map working fine. And there's all your extra stuff, the ground and the steel and the gold and the coal and yeah, all the nice little things. There is a bit of uh, uh, factories also on the map. I saw there's a whiskey factory. Um, I had a quick browse through the, um, through the stuff that I unzipped. He was a whiskey plant, so yeah. So there is a bit of factories as well. Awesome, man. Okay, guys, so um, let's just quickly have a look at the fields. Oh, there is some, um, some uh, what do you call it, field contracts. So yeah, that's also working very, very nice. And then, obviously, the, the total amount of fields on this map looks like 12 fields. So there's 12 fields on the map to work. I suppose that's more than enough to start with, you know. Um, and then, as he said, there's three farms. I'm going to put a guess on that this is one farm. That's another farm there, and this will be the third farm. So, yes, I'm just surprised that your house is so far away from the farm. But anyway, um, I suppose I suppose it, you can do with that, you know. And there's a crane here. That's definitely for your railway. That seems to make a nice loop here over the map by the looks of it. It looks like it's running this way, and then they're coming that way, and maybe stopping there or going up there i suppose there's a railway up here that's a sawmill train mining silo yeah so there must be a rail going up there okay excellent let's get all the stuff out of the way uh, vehicles have a quick look at the vehicles to do that we pop into the garage um, cow barn cow barn so it looks like it's uh, um, a modded cow barn Horse stable, horse stable, pig barn, chicken house, all modded stuff, nice big silos, modding welt uh, by Ernie, looks like it, uh, all those nice features and stuff, sawmills, nice windmills, um, and the house. So you start with no vehicles, hmm, that's very interesting, so that is, oh sorry, did I go to the, yeah, I was at the garage, is my eyes is not believing what I'm seeing. You start with no vehicles, guys, and uh, $100,000 in the bank. So it's going to be a challenge to start um, on this 
uh, this year met uh, um, the, the, the normal farm manager mode. If you're going to choose to start from scratch, you at least get 500,000 and that center one, I always forget the name of that option, you at least get $1.2 million. So I, I would suggest start with that. <laughs> And since and since you don't really, uh, um, yeah, I suppose if you want money, and you're not going to worry about the, the bonds and what the animals at first, just go for the bucks, start with the center one. Great. Okay, enough horsing around. Let's start flying around. I think um, our first our first uh, um, track will be, let's go visit the top farm there. Let's just fly over the area to get an idea of the scenery. Yes, as I suspected, there is definitely a train um, a train on the map, so that is wonderful. Since it's a 16 times map, it could be quite a challenge to uh, to get all your stuff where you want it, you know. I love the lake there in the back, beautiful, beautiful scenery. And guys, once again, um, don't, uh, don't be too quick to judge, because this is only version 1. I mean, my... Uh, Nevada farm map that I've made, I think I went up to version 8 with that. Yeah, so <laughs> 8 versions. So, yeah, it takes a lot of time to iron out all the stuff and to add what you want. Yeah, this is beautiful, guys. This is really awesome. Nice. And I like that the train goes everywhere. So, at least, um, I suppose there might be roads as well. Um, if you look at that, there is a road. How the heck do you get over onto this island? Look at that there, the road is in there, and it comes out on the other side, and uh, yeah, you're going to have to go through the river, like in the Yukon, you just drive through the river. Um, going to have to get that crash truck to go in there, it's a 6x6, six, six six. <laughs> very, very nice. Oh my gosh, this is going to take forever to fly up there. I wonder, let's, uh, but yeah, I just want to have a quick intake of the scenery this is an island like really an island in the middle of the thing and then there's another road that you have to cross the river i think it can be for interesting play you know very interesting plan i love the dead trees you know definitely as um as i've seen in uh, i don't know why this water is doing that it's a bit of a flickering going on in the water puddles here um, not too sure what's happening there, but wow, yeah, what a beautiful map, guys. I love this map. It is so awesome. I, I'm a nature guy, like I've said before, and um, definitely my type of my map. Right, let's just quick jump to, to, to get to some stuff. Let's visit that. It's going to be much quicker and easier to, to do, do it this way. Oh, I just had a huge head bump here. My word, sure, it was. <laughs> I think I'm seeing stars. <laughs> Good stuff. Wonderful. So this here is obviously a port of some kind. Um, where am I now? Here at Train North Sales. Okay, so this is like a port. And uh, this port is definitely, looks like a, a copy of one of those um, in-game maps. Definitely that port it looks the same layout. But anyway, it's great. It looks beautiful. Well done, Boot. Uh, and then obviously on this side, we've got some more cell points. Stuff up happening here. I like. This is your, uh, obviously that plant. Oh, there's a train as well. It's coming in. Wow. Nice. I like. And this is your mine, hopefully, down here. There's a road going in. Just wondering how the heck do you get to the center of the mine? Do you have to drive over this? You're not going to drive over this, guys. No. Do you have to scoop it away to work this heap away? Oh, wait. Okay, it is possible that this whole heap is the actual stuff that you need to mine. So you bring your truck and a loader. And you load this up. This is the, the, the ore. <laughs> Wonderful. I think that is what's going on here, guys. If I'm correct. Right. And that's the train going that way. Okay. So that is what's happening here in the northwest. Let's quickly pop down here to the, um, the northeast. Let's visit that. Luckily, I didn't get a head bump here. Nice, beautiful old sawmill. Man, I like. 
Very, very nice. Place for the pallets and stuff there. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, no, this is a beautiful map, guys. Really, I can't say that more than enough. Look at the, the hills and the mountains in the background. Yeah, very, very nice. There's some water sounds. Ah, nice. Okay, and then a little bit here to the side, uh, we've got um, two more cell points or stuff going on. Just want to pop up there. Let's have a look. Oh, look at this big mine. <laughs> Now that's a mine for you, eh? <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, this is another processing plant. My gosh, okay. Wow. Okay, yeah, no, that is going to really take you a while to, to, to work through this ore. I'm just interested to see what is this stuff here. I wonder if this is obviously the mine he was talking, the coal mine, yes. This is the coal mine he was talking about. So you have to you have to mine that coal, which will um, which will obviously um, then give you a shortcut through the mountain once you've harvested or mined all the coal to that side. Okay, awesome, great idea, but very very nice idea. Good. Uh, so let's quickly have a visit on this farm. Oh, I've just put myself inside of the sheep pen. Let's just get outside so we can fly up. Wow, wonderful. So that's your sheep there. Good, and all the other animals here. And then a quick look at this field. Um, field number 12 is the only field here. But yeah, as he said, there's a lot of other fields that you can clear and plow. And do ever, if you look at the mini map, just make that a bit larger. Um, you'll see. Yep, it's difficult to see this mini man. Um, you, you can see the, the outlinings of some more fields. Let's just get this small again. Good. No, I like this. It's nice. This is very nice. Great. Okay, so that um, obviously is that side. Saving content. My gosh. It really takes a long time to save. Okay, good. Gold processor on this side. Let's quickly have a visit there. So this is the place where you make the gold. Oh, look at that. It's a whole heap of gold here. Nice. Sorry. I'm, I'm running like crazy here. Okay, wonderful. You don't have to go far to find gold. There's lots of bars lying there already. <laughs> ah, look at all the gold to mine. Or the ore rather. Wow, okay. Very nice. This is very interesting. Down here is another sawmill. Let's visit that. Let's have a look. Okay, nice. Nice. Uh, another type of sawmill. Not the same one that's on top. Although yeah, this shed looks fairly the same, but doesn't matter. Really nice. Nicely laid out. And enough trees on this map, guys. You'll never run out of trees to mine, for sure. <laughs> Okay, let's have a quick browse on this side of the farm. And once again, I'll place myself inside the pig star. And to get out of here, I need to be downstairs. Uh, how, do, how do we get out? I can't get out. Okay, let me just grab another one. Let's go to the chickens. The farm silo. Luckily, I can't jump into the farm silo. <laughs> yes, man, that's a nice farm silo. Very, very nice. Almost looks like the Millennial Farmers Farm Silo. If you haven't seen the Millennial Farmers Farm Silo, <laughs> two of my favorite channels, but it's uh, Welka Farms and Millennial Farmers. Good, so this is the farm with some fields. There's seven fields on this one. And uh, yeah, very, very nice. So you can do a bit of farming here for your, for your animals. Uh, not bad at all. Right, this, this like horse paddock or whatever this is, you can also plow that into a field if you want. Great, wonderful. A quick last look at the town itself. Let's visit. This is the farm sales. Um, that's where your shop is. And this was the harbor where we had it. No, it's not the same harbor, is it? Can't remember now. But yeah, no, it's not the same arbor. This is a different arbor. 
buildings look the same but it's a different harbor anyways guys yes and obviously here you've got your animal dealer as well there it is in the background that is the animal dealer and yeah i really like this map guys um, it's about 1.2 gigs of size um, and like i said the download you just unzip into your um, into your thing into your mod folder and there you go um, i did have a look at the error lock there's no errors so the error lock is clean apart from the normal um, stuff that there is and this map is seasons ready however a tip for you if you if you start a new map on this just uh, do uh, load the map without seasons do a save game exit the save game and start the map then with seasons and you won't have a hang on the start uh, for some reason seasons uh, hangs on this map in the start so i found even on my maps it does the same all you do is um, like i explained now make a save without seasons Re, uh, not restart the game but just restart the map with seasons then after that and just allow it to save and then you don't have a problem at all okay guys well thank you so so much for listening taking the time um, and this is obviously a map by guest i don't know what the guy's name is and uh, the map's name is yukon uh, river yukon river valley a very very nice map really nice and i will definitely um Definitely post this uh, download link for you so you can download it from ModApp if you're interested. Well, guys, thanks so much. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, it really helps me out. And have a look at my other videos and my content there. The, the whole channel is only Farming Simulator. Um, and enjoy, man. Thank you so much. Also, have a look at my website. Um, on my website, you'll see all my private maps that I've made. I think I've done about seven or eight maps now. I'm busy doing a whole series on map making whilst I'm making a map. So that will be my next map to make. But thank you so much, guys. This is Farmer Bob. Until next time, saying cheers.